Hi there. Just thought I'd share what I'm got going on in the kitchen these days. So today we're doing. I, ha I got a box of bananas last week, and we ate what we could. And so now it's time to freeze what's left. So I've just been peeling these, put them in a Ziploc bag, and freeze them. The skins just kind of fall off in the end. All the spots. They're still got a little bit of firmness to them, not too bad, but they're a little soft, so I'll just peel them. I don't want to get my hands dirty, but just peel them, throw them in the bag, freeze them. So also, I also figured out another great use for bananas. A book holder. A page holder for recipes. This worked out perfectly. It just didn't want to stay open by itself, so the, the bookmark wasn't quite doing it. So, getting ready to make some uh, some Dr. Esselstein's Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Wild Rice and Vegetable Soup. This stuff is fabulous. We put some spinach and cilantro in the end, so it's like. Mushrooms, carrots, celery, onions, spinach, cilantro. It is delicious. So, just got my wild rice cooking here. And I got my veggies out. We're going to do wild rice vegetable soup from Dr. Esselstein's Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook. Alright, so just prepping the soup here. So, we got our onions. Throw it in the pot. Celery, this is a double batch. And I do a little bit extra. Onion, celery, carrots, mushrooms, and rice. So we're just going to let that simmer. In my giant, big, beautiful pot that Eric just got for me at Costco. I don't know if you can see how big this pot is, but it's gigantic. Like, gigantic. Simmer down now. All that's left to do is plate up our soup. It's all done. It looks gorgeous. We've already eaten a bunch, or well, taken a bunch out. This is what I've taken out. So, Eric likes the big giant bowl, so we can put lots and lots of spinach in it. Now I'll take a regular bowl. And I made some extra beans just to try with beans in it today. It doesn't call for them, but I made them. So what we do here is we put a bunch of cilantro in it. Bunches and bunches. Then we take a big handful of spinach and a big handful. I'm going to have to put chop up more spinach. Eric doesn't need his chopped, I guess. He can eat it. He likes a lot of spinach. Alright, and I'm going to throw a little bit of beans on there to try.
and you can tap with some hot sauce or black pepper. Mm. Time to dig in.